and welcome everyone back to our channel. Today, I would like to um, introduce you to three important topics. Of course, there are a lot of important topics uh, in trading and investing, especially nowadays, but the most common topics that we are always talk about, which is fintech, that is the financial technology, uh, NFTs, NFTs, um, it, which is like the non-fungible tokens. You will get to know this briefly soon. And then we are going to talk a little bit about like price action. I am going to share with you a chart and I will guide you or we will go together through some advanced indicator. I didn't say indicators because or due to the uh, 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 tight time. So. What is Fintech actually? So as I said, Fintech, it's a financial technology refers to the use of technology and innovations to provide financial services and improve financial processes. Uh, it um, en encompasses a wide range of technological advancements and applications that aim to enhance and automate different aspects of financial activities, including banking, investing, payments, insurance, and more. So um, here we can um, have a look at what is the financial technology that I have already talked about? A brief history of the financial technology, um, which was developing over and over uh, a time, especially recently. And all of us, we know that due to the digital platform. So uh, fintech companies typically leverage digital platforms, software and advanced analytics to create innovative solutions and services that streamline financial processes, increase efficiency, and enhance user experiences. These technologies include mobile banking app, online payment systems, robot advisors for investment management, peer-to-peer -peer lending platforms, uh, blockchain and cryptocurrency applications and more others. So the rise of fintech has disrupted traditional financial institutions and introduced new ways of assessing and managing financial services. It has improved financial inclusion and provided innovative alternative to traditional banking system. And here is always the question, would financial technology take over the uh, traditional banking system? That is another way topic to be discussed. So as I told you, it has started from 1838, there was the electric uh, telegraph was introduced for the first time through time or throughout the time till our recent days where all these uh, innovative platforms are introduced. So overall, Fentech represents a, tran a, a transformative force within the financial industry driving change, unlocking new opportunities, and reshaping the way individual and business interact with many, uh, with money and financial services. Let's move on to our next topic, which is NFTs, the non-fungible tokens, which is a type of digital assets that represents ownership or proof of uh, authenticity of a unique item or a, a piece of content, typically using blockchain technology. 
unlike cryptocurrency like Bitcoin and Ethereum, which are fungible and can be exchanged on uh, uh, a one-to-one -one basis. NFTs are unique and cannot be exchanged on a like-to-like uh, uh, -like basis. So uh, it is as any investments that carry risk, hmm? such as uh, lack of regulation, so because NFT market is still uh, in new, very new and very recent and lacks comprehensive regulation, which makes it a place for a lot of scammers and fraud. Then um, compared to traditional financial assets, NFT can be illiquid with price fluctuating uh, significantly. So. Um, the, the value of NFT can rise and fall rapidly, which may result in financial losses if investments are not carefully considered. So, as we always say, where you need to have a strong um, investing planning and strategy so you can make a profit. So it's important to note that uh, value and analysis of NFTs uh, can be subjective and influenced by market trends, individuals, um, individual prefers, preferences, and uh, specu speculative behaviors. Uh, conducting thorough research understanding the underlying assets and assessing the market dynamics are crucial when evaluating NFTs. Um, I would love to show you how we can create NFTs because I had one, uh, but due to also the time, uh, we are just a bit of short in time. Um, this is also an evaluation how NFTs were developed on a uh, daily, like we have the daily volume, the share of volume, and so on. Let's go on to our interesting part as well. The um, price action, actually. Um, I have talked about it before in the previous videos, but I, would, I wasn't mentioning the price action. But due to the analysis, you could have like a general overview about it. So price action refers to the movement of the price. The candles can tell about this. Time frame can tell about this. The, seller, the sellers and buyers can tell about this. Uh, uh, patterns uh, that we can indicate. Um, uh, trains and indicators, so on and so forth. So to make to make to be able to make trading decisions, um, and we can see here in the market, for example, this here uptrend. So we as traders actually we don't we don't want to see these downtrends here because um, this down moving um, like is not is not a good sign and it could be indicated that you know here it was a sign that there is uh, probably a lot of profit taking going on so the market was about to continue uh, a pushing uptrend but it was showing like a strong re a strong rejection and it moved down. Um, yeah, that's for here. I would like to go to have a look at our indicators. And of course, it's going to take time. So as we said before, uh, when we want to analyze a chart, we need to go for a high time frame. I am here analyzing the Bitcoin chart. And first and foremost, I would like to go for one month to see what was um, in, in a point of interest for me. 
and it seems that and I want to draw a train line. So it seems this thread lines to be interesting for me. And then I will throw it down to one week. So you can see the trend line is here as well. We can see these two points. Of um, that would could be uh, for later a target position that I want to have when I want to spot my enterprise uh, or yes, entry level. And higher, higher, two higher points. So that was for like one week. Um, I would like to go for four hours to see what's going on. And I think as we can see, we cannot see any more the um, trend lines that we have drawn. So as I can see, it should be. I can see here an ascending triangle, but there is an area that, that is going on here. And then I would like to put a resistance level, and I would like to put it here. So we all know what is resistance will be support. And then for these case methods, I would like to use something special uh, and advanced indicators. Um, so the Fibonacci tool gives you as trading a trader trade entry possibility at values areas during uh, uh, a trending market. While Fibonacci level may serve as um, a key support and resistance. For this reason, they are crucial to use and understand. And as you remember before, the zones around support and resistance level are places where price has likelihood uh, of um, uh, responding to or reversing from, which again indicates perfect trade entry possibilities for us. Um, so, and to be able to use the Fibonacci tool, let me see. I would like to go for one minute. I don't want to see this one. Let me take this one. You can see up. You can see up and then down, go back, run, go back, then run, and it's trying to go back. So here um, we have this. Uh, higher highs and higher um, uh, lows are indicative of uptrend. If we are evaluating this run here, that one, okay, and want to use the Fibonacci tool to locate areas or uh, uh, of of value, here how we can enter the long trade. So we click. A long trade, I'm saying I'm not talking about a uh, short trade. Click this area here and FIB retracement. And we go from the low swing here in the bottom of the week.
and we click and we move it up to the higher swing. All right, that's what I want. Uh, you would, I would just like to bring your attention that here are the settings where you can uh, maybe show. Let me show you how. If you put like many colors, it will be show many colors, but I don't like it to be too much of colors. So I am OK with that. I don't think I need. So this is 50, this is 100. I don't think I want this one. There was one I would like to see. That was this one. Suppose perfect, yes. The 78%. All right. So um, after we we click on that and we move it up to the trend uh, to the highest uh, we can see on this left i would like to see it on the right i'm sorry for this one let me see on the right okay i will this is perfect i would like to see the percentage on the right um so looking at it to We'll see these are the Fibonacci level percentage appear on the right. Price uh, would have dropped. 50 uh, uh, percent. From the most recent swing, if it reaches the 50 percent level. And it would have dropped 78.6 percent from the most recent swang high if it reached the 78.6 percent so these levels indicate um, uh, places of value throughout a moving trend now i would love to show you how we can enter a trend in this case but again i will show it to you in the next one but the thing is that traders will play. I would like just to say this, that traders will place long uh, bets when price reaches this Fibonacci retracement levels in an upswing. This is because FIP level serves us um, a kind of support in an uptrend and support levels are places from which price may possibly bounce and reverse. I hope you enjoyed this small information and I will see you in the next videos. Cheers!